Hey guys, it's Ruth. I know I've been away a while. Been a, a little sick and, you know, just a real bad cold and actually had strep throat. But anyway, I lived through it. Hallelujah. Uh, we are rushing because spring is coming and uh, we're trying to beat the sun. I'm going to be doing a facial peel. This has two parts. I'm going to do it hopefully in two videos, but we'll see. The first part of the video is going to be the actual peel itself, which is the recovery portion of it. Some people go to the dermatologist and get a chemical peel. I've never had a chemical peel myself, although I have had the substance on me, and man, that burned a little bit too much for me. Chemical peels, as most people know, peels off the dead skin cells, actually can peel quite a bit of the layers of the skin off. That way your skin is renewed and it hopefully comes back smoother, younger, brighter, all those wonderful things. But I know that there are a lot of things in your kitchen that you can use. Let me grab my tray. Because this is going to be the second portion. Can you pull that all in? These are just average fruit and veggies that you have in your kitchen that you can use to do a wonderful peel. Most of them are full of some type of fruit acid, alpha hydroxys, glycolics, lactic, lactic, lactic I can't even talk today, acids. Uh, so these things are going to give you a gentler form of a peel. Also help brighten up that skin, get those dead cells. And the reason that I like to do this right at the beginning of spring is because, let me move this tray away. I like to do this at the beginning of spring because once you do a peel, your skin is going to peel a little bit. Some people peel quite a bit, actually, even from fruit acids. Uh, you do not want to go out in the sun. It makes you sun sensitive for a while. So I think it's always best that you do it in the spring. That way you're not having so much harsh sunlight and you're indoors a little bit more. But we're going to start on the cucumber mask portion first. And we're going to get started. Pan down, cameraman. The ingredients that you're going to use is kelp or any kind of seaweed. If we can stay on the table, dear. Let me see if I can find that. And don't stress over the ingredients. These are just simple things you can pick up at the grocery store. If you can't find kelp, buy the seaweed that you buy from the uh, Asian markets and, and chop that into pieces because you're going to steep this into a tea anyway. We're also going to have a packet of some type of unflavored gelatin. If you don't have unflavored gelatin, you can use the kind that your kids eat because this is just the thickening portion of it because we're going to peel it off. We also have some green tea. Let me cover it up. Green tea, and this is chamomile tea. So this is kelp, unflavored gelatin, green tea, and chamomile tea. In the glass, which I had to do for time restraints, we have the green tea steeping, the chamomile, and also a teaspoon of the kelp powder. Not kelp powder, but the kelp granulas itself. Oh man, that smells good with a little fishy tint to it. We're going to use a uh, a portion of this and we're going to cook it and we're going to come over to the stove in just a moment. We have cucumber. I put the, I chopped up a cucumber. Here's the pulp that's left. There's actually a big piece of it left. I put it in the blender, made a teaspoon of water and ground it up and put it through my strainer and I have wonderful cucumber juice that mm, tastes exactly like what it is which is cucumber. We also have aloe vera gel. Well, actually, this is aloe vera juice, and we're going to get it started. I'm a little scattered today, but we'll, we'll eventually get there. So let's come on over to the stove, dear. Let me grab everything. We're going to have our pot, of course, and see, as you can see with the blender, this is what we ground up the cucumber with. We're going to put uh, two 60cc shots. Everybody kind of knows this is a shot glass of the uh, steeped tea and we can save that for a later time we can actually drink it and like I said the tea has chamomile it also has green tea which is a wonderful antioxidant and the kelp which is your seaweed let me turn the fire on for that seaweed is one of the best absolute best things for the skin helps to restore helps to balance gives you your correct iodine dose, refreshes. A lot of the French companies and Asian countries uh, use a lot of seaweed in their products. We're going to put just a little bit of the liquid in there and go ahead and put our gelatin. We're mainly wanting to dissolve this. You've seen, or maybe your mother's did it as a kid, where she would uh, do a mask 
that she put on her face and it kind of looked kind of weird actually and then peeled it off. It almost looked like she was peeling off her skin. We're mainly uh, going to just heat this up until the gelatin is thoroughly dissolved and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it cool totally and put it on the face afterwards as a recovery thing. And we're going to let that go. It only takes a few seconds, as you can see. The biggest thing that we had to do was to grate the cucumber and to steep the tea. All the rest of it is a few seconds on the stove. Not too many herbs. One lady says, I don't have all those herbs. I don't have all that time. But this is something that you could do on a rainy day, or in, in my case, at my house, it's snowing a bit. And we're going to let that uh, get melted totally. Let me see if all the gelatin is melting. I think so. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. And we're going to come back over to the table. Alright, let me set this here. This is the bowl I had earlier that we strained it with. We're going to go ahead and pour our dissolved gelatin with the teas and the kelp in it. And we're going to use, where's my little shot glass? There it is. That's one, two, three, four tablespoons. Well, I don't think I got it all the way to the top. Four tablespoons, which is 60 cc's of the uh, cucumber juice. And we're going to go ahead and pour that in. And we're also going to do... 60 cc's or 4 tablespoons of the aloe vera gel. That's all that took to make this. That's quick and easy. What we're going to do now, we want it to cool. That's why we started in a glass bowl also. I love glass. Just like all types of jello, you have to let it cool. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it continue with thickening up. And then we're going to come back post and I'll let you see the finished product. So, uh, Stay tuned for part two of our snowy day facial. I'll be back in just a second. Hey guys, this is the first video. We've done the cucumber peel, but this is actually the facial peel. And I think the alarm clock is ringing, so let me turn that off. Hold on for a second.